So today we're going over four applications that you can use to boost your game performance and ultimately get better FPS and lower delay. What actually causes delay is how much stuff you have running in the background, which if you go to your task manager, you can actually see everything you have running. Now, the main way to check to see if you're gonna have high delay is actually clicking performance, CPU, and seeing how many processes you have running. So ultimately you wanna get this as low as you possibly can, but keep in mind, not every process will cause delay, meaning 166, there's probably roughly 60 of these that can cause delay, while a lot of things in the background are just running actually need to be ran anyways. So just keep that in mind. Starting off at number one, we actually have Razer Cortex. Now, a lot of people don't know that Razer actually has a feature that you can use to boost your game and you can choose and pick different things that you want in here. But basically what I have here is probably the best ones that, you know, well, for me, they are the best. If you see anything else that you would want, go ahead and uh, check off as well. Then just click boost. Now it takes a few seconds for it to boost and you are good. You can see it happening over here on the left. And then once this is done, you are set and it takes a few seconds just like that it's it's done you can also restore it by clicking restore now speaking of restore keep in mind creating a restore point is always a very smart thing to do as with the restore point everything that you do you can just revert so it makes it really really easy so that way it doesn't cause any problems and if it does cause problems you know just easily go right back now in order to make a restore point you click the search bar type in restore point and this should pop up and then you just click create go ahead and name this i would name it um b4 tweaks i'll just do b4 tw then you click create now this takes a few seconds to create and then you are good to go Now it says the resource point was created successfully. Now you just can close all that and you are good. After using Razor Cortex, we've already lowered our processes by about 20. I was at 161, now I'm at 141, so that's good. Like I said before, the lower you have it, the better. But let's move on to app optimization number two, and that will be another free one. Now, the one I'm about to talk about, you can actually find in my Discord, which is linked in the description, as well as absolutely everything I'll be using today. So you go to my discord and this is the first thing you'll see to make it easy just type in hashtag youtube stuff click this click enter and then click youtube stuff very easy and everything i cover in all my videos is here now tweet command is actually what we're going to be going over now i'm sure you've seen this before um if you have great but if you haven't here you go you go ahead and open up your terminal admin paste it in here click enter now this takes a few seconds to pop up and once it does, it's done. Now this is completely free and also no install needed. Therefore, you can't really get a virus from it. Click tweaks, uh, click standard, and this is what you want. This automatically creates a restore point for you, but we're gonna go ahead and uncheck that because we already have one made. And then everything I have checked off and I am checking off as of right now, make sure you do as well, because these will be the best ones for you and overall will help the most um and that is about it now we're also going to get rid of if i can find it they update this a lot to keep in mind um if i can find it hold on i'm actually tripping it's at the very top here we're disable temporary files so uh, or delete temporary files this is just to speed things up for the video and it doesn't take five years to actually finish because if you do make use this code resource point and delete files it has to scan all your files therefore it does take a little bit longer and creating resource point it takes up for some reason it takes a little bit of time doing that as well so there you go then you go ahead and you click run tweaks now in the background over here you'll see all tweaks being ran as you can see right here they're going which takes a little bit of time. It shouldn't take long. It should speed up here and then here in a second. And then once it's done, it will say tweaks are finished and you are good to go. Now this also runs a disk cleanup, which is fine. This does take a little bit of time, but I do recommend running a disk cleanup every once in a while, just to clear up some space. It's some extra like stuff you just have. Uh, it always helps. I'm actually gonna cancel it just for the video, but basically once that's finished it'll finish out all the tweaks and it will say tweaks are finished and then you are go good to go ahead and actually close all of this once it's closed it is completely done and that optimization is finished now this is free and like i said it's in my discord linked in the description before we move on to the next optimizations there's a few things i would like to actually throw in the mix 
before we move on to the next optimizations there's a few things i'd actually like to throw in there as well and that is actually go to your taskbar settings and make sure everything that's on right here is turned off as that can cause extra processes in the background and overall more delay next you want to go to startup apps make sure you only have apps you're going to use on in startup apps um, i use mouse x control um, steel series for my keyboard and razor synapse for my mouse and then crosshair for my crosshair while playing the game other than that make sure you have everything off so it just reduces the amount of things you have open in the background which overall will lower your processes so we're going to go ahead and just talk about gear booster now this isn't an app to lower your process is this actually an app to lower your ping so that's always good to have now the thing about gear booster is i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it but it's actually had an update where it has a packet loss feature meaning you will not get packet loss while playing any of your favorite games meaning if your wi-fi is struggling and having a absolute mental breakdown your game will not suffer the consequences of that so your game will always run perfectly at the lowest ping and at the most stable packet loss which should be zero you never want good you never want high packet loss because that's not fun for anybody right so there you go no more floating around and lagging like crazy you now can use gear booster absolutely for free with the link in the description and your lag will be gone anyways let's move on to the optimizations anyways moving on to the next optimization we actually have elite premium tweaking utility now i will have to blur the sign in part so y'all just can't yoink my sign in key um you, you know so y'all can't just get it for free unfortunately because this does cost twenty dollars now keep in mind this is a one-time purchase it is not a monthly subscription so you buy it once and it always works so you'll always have it and it's constantly updated every single week and this is actually my favorite on the list so if there's one i could tell y'all to use it would be this one and here is why now going through this you will see there's a lot and i mean a lot of optimizations you can actually do in order to lower your delay and overall maximize the amount of um fps you're getting in game as you can see just opening it i already have everything on that is because i do use this one now i run a stable i can run a stable 900 and creative pretty much with this so you know that's always good but it has up to gpu optimizations cpu optimizations including game boosters now i'm not sponsored by them so don't think i'm sponsored i'm not um i don't even have a code for you guys to even be like yeah i'm sponsored use my code for anything i am 100 not sponsored by them i just want to throw that out there i'm not sponsored by anything here um but yeah i'm just recommending this to you guys and the discord to this is linked in the description where you can actually purchase it and i'll also have the link to the website to purchase it as well in there but i recommend joining the discord so that way you can talk to the people get your keys and everything to figure it out if you have any problems and they show you every updates and giveaways and stuff like that um but yeah this is overall my favorite and i do use this one um, I don't know why that isn't on, but yeah, I do use this one. So highly, rec highly recommend, um, oh wait, I know why it's not on. Cause I don't, I'm not AMD. I'm stupid. Anyways, there you go. So if you want to copy my settings, I'll go ahead and start at the very, very top. This is for FPS. There's 40 of them. If there's one saying feature is breaking, obviously don't turn it on and they do update it. So eventually they will, um, have it fixed, but yeah, so this is everything. I'll do a quick little scroll through. Uh, there you go if you have an, an intel cpu don't use this actually use the one i just turned on and turned off because you know i'm dumb but yeah moving on um down here we got processors this makes higher attempts but that's okay i have a, I have a decent cooling system so it doesn't bother me let me make sure this is off in order for the setting to apply you gotta wait for this purple bar to go all the way across and then you're good right um and then moving on here we are just to make sure that applied but yeah yeah we're good um everything here and that's all i use because i'm not a and b and i don't want to turn on the intel ones i'm good I have a video up here um but yeah so this is this is everything that i think you should use this is everything i think you should use for this app if you do happen to install the elite tweaking app now this is one of the paid ones one of the first paid ones we're going to go over but it's not a subscription and it is a one-time payment and you get all of this and constant updates as well as there's a way to clean out space on your pc and there's a game booster where it chooses all the best optimizations for that game so you can just click fortnite and have it boosted but i already have all the optimizations picked out that i wanted anyways let's move on to the next one next i had somebody ask me how i feel about hone now i'm gonna be honest with you i have no opinion on this because i have not used it but giving an overall look over it doesn't look that bad aside from it having a bunch of ads 
um, which I mean they gotta make their money somehow um, it's really not that bad and it does come with if you get the free one you get 10 optimizations for free game optimizations for whatever and then there's the upgrade which is a monthly subscription of I guess 299 you save 60 percent on your first one you know whatever but I'm not sponsored by them either but hone is another good one that you can use with 10 free optimizations which essentially just has absolutely everything that the last optimization thingy has that i just covered but it's a one-time payment instead of a monthly subscription but hone is also here that i do recommend checking out to optimize your pc those are the best ones that i've covered today um everything i went over today is linked in the description if you did happen to like absolutely anything make sure you like the video if you found something new in this video like the video subscribe for more content just like this if you would like to see me test the paid versus the free optimizations that i covered in this video make sure you click this video right here on the screen other than that i'll catch you guys in the next video